Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna make a fantastic, incredible and impressive project. We're gonna make a battery with the materials that you can easily find at your home. But most importantly, this battery will be a real battery, not a fake battery. So it means that you can use this battery whenever you want and in any application. And this is the easiest way of making a battery. Let me show you the materials you are going to use to build our battery. First thing we need is a copper foil. As you see, 30 centimeters to 6 centimeters a copper foil. And as you see, we have a part over here. Don't cut this part because we are going to use this part as the terminal of the battery. Second thing we need is an aluminum foil, again with the same size. 30 centimeters to 6 centimeters and you have the same part for using as the terminal of the battery. The other things we are going to need is two paper towel. We, we're going to use these uh, paper towels for the, as the insulator for the battery. So it's very important material that we are going to use to build our battery. And we have a little uh, small tube or container we will put our batteries inside it and just fill with the uh, electrolyte, with the solution. As the solution, we are going to use sodium hydroxide. The amount of sodium hydroxide is not very really important. Just a teaspoon will be enough for this project. And sodium hydroxide is not very difficult to find. It's available on any supermarket or any market. You can find it very easily. And we are going to use just Potable water. You don't you don't need to use deionized water or distilled water. Just potable water is good for us for this project. It will be good. So let's build our battery. First, we are taking our paper towel and just take it over here. I'm going to put the aluminum foil on that. Be careful, the paper towel, the size of the paper towel should be a little bit larger than the aluminum and copper foils. It's a very important point, just I'm going to tape it again. I'm going to use the second paper towel. Be careful, the aluminum foils and copper foils shouldn't be touched each other and this part should be overlaid with each other. Yeah. Just put here and take this one. We are going to roll these uh, foils very carefully. The uh, copper foil and the aluminum foil very carefully. That's just... Um, be careful when you roll them. It's very easy to roll. That's after rolling, that's what we have, and I'm going to use this. A uh, very little small container to seal the battery. I put it inside. Now I'm going to prepare my solution, my electrolyte. Just as I said, one teaspoon sodium sodium hydroxide and put some water in it. Just give a stir until completely dissolved in the water. I'm going to fill the container with the water by the help of an injection. You can also pour the water, it doesn't matter, but it's a better way to uh, use an injection. Now, our battery is almost ready to use. Okay, I'm going to use this one to seal the battery. As you see, there are two slots over here. I will uh, put out the terminals. Just 
close it. Okay, our battery is ready to use now. We are going to make some measurement to see how voltage it is and how amperage it has. I'm going to use my multimeter and let's look. Uh, as you see, it's about um, 1.3 volt, 1.3 volt, uh, okay, just one point, approximately 1.3 volt, and now we're going to look at the amperage. Uh, 0 0.6 ampere, as you see, it has 0 0.6 amperage. Now, I have a little electric motor here. I'm going to try to turn this motor with this battery. We're going to see what will happen. Okay, let's look at it. Wow, it's work. As you see, the battery, our battery is working. It's very nice. It's working. Our battery is working. So you can use this battery. You can use this battery about five hours. This battery is not rechargeable. You can use this battery only one time. The lifespan and the longevity of this battery is depending on aluminum foil thickness. The thickness of aluminum foil is determined how long you can use this battery. So when you build your battery, if you choose a thicker aluminum foil, you can use this battery longer. But for this battery, for our aluminum foil, we can, we can use this battery about five or six hours. When you are going to use this battery in an application, uh, before using, don't add any solution in it. Just put your battery inside it. And while you will going to use, just put the solution inside it and you can use it about five or six hours, as I said. If you choose a thick aluminum foil, you can use it longer. 